Uh, so this is going to be the drawing that we're going to be applying it. And I'm going to zoom in just a bit so we can see some of the values and the tolerances. Drag it over here. So this is kind of what we're going to be going through. Um, is there a specific place you think you, you're going to begin? Yeah. Well, I'm going to start from this date of May, which is going to be on the – everything's going to be on the inside. We got profile. We got a couple perpendicularity tolerances. And then I'm going to have – there's four slots on two different sides, but uh, I'm going to just keep it simple for now and go with at least the two on one side. So starting off, I am going to go into my PMI and delete it all. All right, gone. All right, so on the inside, we're going to add this. I'm going to first go into... Um, application and start modeling some craning some points on the inside so we can get some datum targets <clears throat> making sure that the perpendicularities are picked right because you'll need points to do that so jason if this is this is gary speaking I'm, I'm gonna interrupt a little bit so if you're using datum targets in nx you have to create the points first yes okay. yes Good. unlike maybe some other systems where like in katia they're automatically created right off the uh, right, you can right off the surface. the surface, and it creates a point. Yeah. So any surface you want to actually put PMI on, you have to have a an X point on that surface. You should, yes. Uh, for perpendicularity, you can you would have to to target something. It's just not going to target right off the the surface. Something like a call out like that, or profile, position. Well, position is going to have a feature. But yes, you will. Is that because you use that point to make the leader line too? Yes. Okay. And so if you don't have the PMI loaded, you'll often have to go to the application tab and then just hit PMI and it'll show up on the top. Um, right now I have, I'm going to go ahead and create, um, I'm going to create the perpendicularity first. And you mean flatness? Flatness, sorry. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you can't create perpendicularity if you don't have a datum yet. <laughs> right. See, and how how right now it's not letting me pick any feature or any surface, so I have to go on and pick a point. And I've been creating this GDT for the uh, last few minutes, so now there's probably going to be an automatic creation here for profile, position. And I'm going to go down here and expand it, and then change it to flatness with no datums. Come on. So as, as he's doing this, in summary, we, you're creating a point on the surface, because then when you go to create the GDMT, you're picking the point that's where the leader line is going to lead to. And then this pull-down, you just start expanding it to fill in what you want in the feature control frame. Correct. <laughs> so now I got my flatness here. It's going to be floating up here. 0.6, or I should just make it, yeah, 0.6 is good. And now I'm going to go ahead and start creating my datum targets. Select the leader. Make sure the view is correct. Go into the orientation, change it to that view. Awesome. And then the dialog will stay open so that you can continually pick on um, the points and create it. And then I'll give you, so we got A2 here. Uh, A3. And if you do pick a surface, then it's going to align it to that surface. So I'm just wanting to click it off in space. And there should be another point there, but it's not. So A3 points, that's good. And then I'm going to create the datum. One thing we... Uh, I'm going to create with jogs. I'm going to put a, put a
put a point here. It's just going to create like a point off of that leader line. And then I'm going to be able to specify that uh, leader, which is, should be datum A. And you can see down here, it's got, we've got to make sure that the object is actually associated to the, uh, the feature or the, the, the tolerance. So usually when you go through, you got to check to make sure that the associate objects are selected. They have one or many different surfaces. And then you can also remove or add. And then I'm going to make this side a datum B using perpendicularity back to A. I do need points. I'm going to create a point on this surface and then another point on this surface, just so the other tolerances I'm going to make have Wait, points. Can you slow down when you make the next point? Oh, you I already did. Oh, you already did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can go back to that and just that you got that point dialog, and basically you want to keep the point on a face. And once you create one, it's just going to, you have to apply, you know, once you create one, you can always just move it around. Okay. But you'll have to apply and then it'll just keep it open. Simil something similar to like how 3DCS does with its feature point. Great. Yeah, because I know we have a lot of multi-CAD users that might be required to use NX. And uh... um, so I'm going to show something here that's usually better in 3DCS, but sometimes I cannot see the point at all. So I'm going to go to the view, and I'm going to see see all through. So actually, that doesn't help me out here. But uh, basically, we can use that that feature, see all, see through all, and it will kind of like opaque or trans, make it transparent, um, which would make it better to see 3DCS points. But I'm going to keep that turned off because basically I can see the point there, but. So going back, I'm going to go to this, make a perpendicularity. And then it's going to be back to A. So if you don't mind, sure. you cancel that and start from scratch. You're going to, you're going up, you're going up to the GDT pull downs. Oh, okay. I mean, you're ripping through that dialog box so fast yeah. that I can't track what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So you you clicked on. So up here we have the feature control frame right. uh, icon, which makes it uh, you know your any your position, your profile. This is where we're going to do anything except datums. So we're going to do this one. We got datums down here. Um, we got datum targets. You've already seen, and then yeah. we're probably going to create a couple size tolerance as well, just for okay. the slots. So you click the feature. So now when I'm in this perpendicular, I want to create a perpendicularity. So in here, I can go ahead and set, I want to set this first, um, whether it's position okay. or whatever. And then I'm going to define the datum reference frame. So even with um, the datums not being created, I can go ahead and specify A and B and C and all my secondary and tertiary, but uh, it will display it in here in the part navigator, whether that's a, a, a true you know, whether it has a demo or not. Okay. Saying so it's going to give it like a yellow check mark or something that it says that's a bad so feature. So you don't, you can't, you're, you're not starting from the top of this dialog box and just going down. You kind of went down to the middle. No, this is where I found out, like, if I start from the top, I would have to go back, backtrack, and re edit the, um, the tolerance again. Okay. And so I wanted to start at the bottom, just creating all my datums, all my features, the tolerance size, and then I can go through and um, create the leader. And I'm going to pick this point. Yeah. So they have it set up with a flow through where you choose position the, where it's going to be first, and then you set all the characteristics. But if you set all the characteristics first, when you choose the place for it, it's already ready. It's all done. Yeah. Then so I go back and click it, and then modify it. So once I clicked off or clicked in space, it just started with another one. So that's why I like to go to the bottom first, edit all that information, and then go. And so now I can go ahead and this, I want to make sure I clicked on the feature because I don't think I did. 
Um, so it's right now only associated to one part, uh, one point. I'm going to click on that and then click on the feature, the surface. How do you tell when it's associated with the feature? So it doesn't give you a list, I believe. I think it does down here as far as if you click, let me see. But it highlights it. it does highlight. Yeah, it does highlight. And then you can see it kind of highlight there. It's a little lighter or darker green. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think you can see in here, associated objects, it says face and point. Mm. Okay. So it's in the dependencies. <laughs> All right, so uh, where am I at now? Sorry. Creating the datum. I'm going to create this datum. So this is going to be my datum B. Um, so now it just gave me the datum B by automatic. And um, when I created the datum on, over here, I was required to, first I'm going to make sure that the, this, when you start creating your PMI, you're going to want to have the actual required like view. So it'll create it in a view that you have set up over here uh, in your model, or I'm sorry, part navigator. So you can specify it here and it'll go with the model view or you can just specify whichever plane you want to create it in. So whether it's X, Y, or Z or the X, Y, C, you know, the, the part plane. Um, so I'm going to go with creating a, a leader and I'm going to turn it on with jogs, which is going to allow me to create a, a picking point. And I've got it to work really well on the leader line of the tolerance. It also grabs that associate object. And then now I can just go ahead and specify where I want the datum to be. Usually when I pick it under here, it doesn't really kind of connect well, but I've had good luck with uh, picking on the leader line. All right, so that's datum B now. I'm going to go ahead and go with datum C, which is another perpendicularity. And I'm going to create it in another view. I think it's, it's hiding my XYZ plane. I want to create it in the XZ. So I'm looking down here at what plane I'm wanting to create it in. And I've already created a point. There it is. So I'm going to pick this point, and then I'm going to just oh, got to edit my data structure. And so now it's data B, and I can plop it right off that face. And so now that's created. And then I'm going to be moving on to let's see, create another datum, which is, is going to be C now. Create with jaws. Pick that leader line and then specify good location for this. So now there's my datum structure. 